Hello guys, this is Arvind here from Edureka and I welcome you all to this session on Jenkins X. So before we move any further, let us have a quick look at the agenda for today's session. First, we will know what exactly is Jenkins and then we will talk about the differences between Jenkins and Jenkins X. Then we will switch to the features of Jenkins X and we will see how Jenkins X works. And finally, we will conclude this session with the installation of Jenkins X on Windows and Linux operating systems. I hope I'm clear with the agenda guys pretty simple just a reminder in case you have not yet subscribed to our YouTube channel Please do subscribe and also hit the bell icon so that you never miss an update from Edureka And also if you're someone who's looking for a course in DevOps Then you can find the link for that course in the description box below So without any further ado, let us begin with our first topic. What is Jenkins X? So Jenkins X was created by James Strachan who's also the creator of Groovy Apache Camel and was first announced in the year March 2018. It is designed from the ground up to be a cloud native Kubernetes only application that not only supports CI CD but also makes working with Kubernetes as simple as possible. With one command, you can create a Kubernetes cluster, install all the tools you need to manage your application, create a build and deployment pipelines, and deploy your application to various environments. Jenkins is described as an extensible automation server that is configured via pipelines to be a continuous integration server a continuous deployment hub or a tool to automate just about any software task Jenkins X provides a specific configuration of Jenkins meaning you don't need to know which plugins are required to stand up a CI CD pipeline It also deploys numerous applications to kubernetes to support building your docker container Storing container in a docker registry and deploying it to kubernetes. So this was the definition of Jenkins X Now let us talk about the differences between Jenkins and Jenkins X Unlike Jenkins Jenkins X is a very opinionated and built to work better with technologies like docker or kubernetes Having said that both Jenkins and Jenkins X are deeply related as everything that is done with Jenkins X can be done with Jenkins using several plugins and integrations However, the best part of Jenkins X is that it simplifies everything It lets you harness the power of Jenkins 2.0 using open source tools like helm draft monocular chart museum Nexus and docker registry to easily build cloud native applications In fact, it is this selection of tools and processes that makes Jenkins X unique and different from Jenkins and any other CI CD solution for example Jenkins X defines the process while Jenkins tends to adapt to which process that is needed Jenkins X adopts to a CLI API first approach It relies on configuration as a code and embraces external tool and these tools are nothing but help monocular etc On the contrary Jenkins has a UI first approach with the configuration via UI and drives everything heavily by internal plugins plus the Jenkins X preview environments enables developers to collaboratively validate changes integrated into the code base by creating a running system per pull request so these were the differences between Jenkins and Jenkins X now let us talk about the features of Jenkins X the first feature is automated CI CD Jenkins X offers a sleek JX command line tool which allows Jenkins X to be installed inside an existing or a new Kubernetes cluster import projects and bootstrap new applications Additionally Jenkins X creates pipelines for the project automatically The next feature is environment promotion via GitOps. Jenkins X allows for the creation of different virtual environments for the development staging and production using Kubernetes namespaces Every environment gets a specific configuration list of version applications and configurations stored in the git repository You can automatically promote new versions of applications between these environments if you follow the GitOps practices Moreover, you can also promote code from one environment to the another manually and change or configure new environments as needed The third feature is the extensions. It is quite possible to create extensions to Jenkins X an extension is nothing but a code that runs at a specific time in the CI CD process You can also provide code through an extension that runs when the extension is installed uninstalled as well as before and after each pipeline The next feature is the serverless Jenkins Instead of running the Jenkins web application which continuously consumes a lot of CPU and memory resources 
you can run Jenkins only when you need it. During the past year, Jenkins community has created a version of Jenkins that can run classic Jenkins pipelines via the command line with the configuration defined by the code instead of the usual HTML forms. And the last feature that we are going to discuss is the preview environments. Though the preview environment can be created manually, Jenkins X automatically creates preview environments for each pull request. This provides a chance to see the effect of changes before merging them. Also, Jenkins X adds a comment to the pull request with the link for the preview for the team members. So these were the features of Jenkins X. Now let us talk about the working of Jenkins X. So as you can see the diagram on the screen. So this is the overall architecture of Jenkins. What happens here is the developer commits and pushes the changes to the project's Git repository. Jenkins X is notified and runs the project's pipeline in a Docker image. This includes the project's language and the supporting frameworks. In the next step, the project pipeline builds, tests, and pushes the project's Helm chart to Chart Museum and its Docker image to the registry. Next, the project pipeline creates a PR with the changes needed to add the project to the staging environment. Then Jenkins X automatically merges the PR to the master. Jenkins X is notified and runs the staging pipeline. And in the final step, the staging pipeline runs Helm, which deploys the environment, pulling Helm charts from the chart museum and Docker images from the Docker registry. Kubernetes creates the project's resources, typically a pod, service, and ingress. So this was the overall working of Jenkins X. Now let us talk about the installation of Jenkins X. So in this session, I'm going to talk about installing Jenkins X on Windows as well as Linux platform. So if you talk about the installation on Windows, here the prerequisite is that you need Docker and Kubernetes installed on your system. So once you have the prerequisites completed, what you can do is you can right click on the menu and start the command prompt and run the following commands as an admin. So as you can see here, at the shell prompt, execute a powershell.exe command to download and install the Choco binary and set the installation path so that the binary can be executed. When you open the PowerShell, you have to execute this command here. As you can see, once you run this command, you need to install Jenkins X using the Chocolaty package, which is a third party application. So the command for that is Choco install Jenkins X. And you can update to the latest version of Jenkins X using the Chocolaty by the command Choco upgrade Jenkins X. So if you're using scoop, then there's this command called scoop install Jenkins X or JX. And to upgrade the JX binary, you need to run the command scoop update JX. So these were the simple steps that you need to follow for installing Jenkins X on Windows. And if you talk about Linux operating system, these are the steps that you need to follow. So first you need to download the JX binary archive using the command. This is the command. You need to run this command in the command prompt or the terminal of the Linux operating system. And if you don't have the JQ installed on your Linux OS, then you can run this command. As you can see here, this is the first step. In the second step, you install the JX binary by moving it to a location in your executable path using the command sudo mv JX user local bin. So this is the second step and with this step your Jenkins X installation is almost complete and just to verify whether Jenkins X has been installed on your system. What you can do is you can run this command which is the third step JX space hyphen hyphen version. So if you run this command you'll be able to see the latest version of Jenkins. So this was all about the installation of Jenkins X. With this we have come to the end of this session on Jenkins X. I hope you have enjoyed this session. If you have any queries related to this session, then you can post them in the comment box below and we will try to get back to you as early as possible. Thank you so much. I hope you have enjoyed listening to this video. Please be kind enough to like it and you can comment any of your doubts and queries and we will reply them at the earliest. Do look out for more videos in our playlist and subscribe to Edureka channel to learn more. Happy learning.